Hey everyone, the Codium team is thrilled to announce that chat has now arrived to JetBrains IDEs. I'm going to give you a quick demo of how JetBrains chat can help you with your workflows and accelerate your coding by giving you a quick demo on this algorithm called Seam Carver. So for context, what Seam Carver does is it tries to intelligently crop an image to maintain sort of the, the bits of the image that made it uh, unique in the first place and removing the areas that are maybe our negative space. So for example, here I have an image that I took that I really love the composition. I really love what's going on with the water, the reflections, the trees, and the watermark. But I really want this to be square. Um, there's no good way for me to crop this to be square while keeping all the things that I really like about the image. And so I'm going to go to Seam Carver, and I'm going to give you a quick example of running this application. If we were to run this and remove uh, a bunch of pixels, give it some time, um, it'll actually turn this into a square crop. And so if we open up that cropped version of the image, you can see it is square. And you can see that we've really kept a lot of the magic of the photo. And it seems like reduced some of the areas around uh, the reef a bit or, or some of the other areas that, um, you know, maybe didn't add as much to the image. And so what we're going to do with this algorithm, I really want to understand what are the lines and what are the pixels that are actually being removed? Because right now I have no sense of what's going on. So if we hop into this code, um, we can actually ask chat on the right side. We can say, um, how does Seam Carver automatically crop an image? So we can ask it and it says, okay, it crops an image by identifying and removing seams of the pixel with low energy. And it's telling me what the concept of energy is, uh, yada, yada. And so if I look through this code, I'm like, okay, um, you know, there's width and height, there's energy, calculate energy. I'm starting to understand what's going on here. Um, what I'm interested in is this function called find horizontal seam. It seems like if I'm making a vertical crop, this is probably relevant. So if I go ahead and click explain, it's telling me that it finds indices where the horizontal seam is the shortest path search on the energy matrix. So if we go back up here, it's doing all the math to basically decide what is the seam I want to carve. Um, and so I'm going to ask chat, uh, let's say we want to turn that seam into, um, we want to render what that seam is on the image. And so what I can do is actually go into the window and I can start asking it, write a function to render a horizontal seam in an image where all the seam pixels are red. Do this in Java, because we're writing in Java with the picture and press enter. It'll start actually looking through our code base. Um, and so you can see it read some of the context somewhere to above where it's actually, oh, looking at what is what is horizontal seam, remove horizontal seam doing? What is the class itself doing? Um, and it's able to basically set uh, the pixels to the color red. So if, right, if we go ahead and copy this code and we're gonna scroll down at it right below this function. We now have this function and we can do the whole thing again where we explain it if we don't understand it. Or in this case, I'm really interested in a doc string. So I want to add a doc string, make sure the code is well documented. Um, so now I have this doc string and I have render horizontal seam. So now I can look for where do we actually do the cropping? And so if I go scroll down, um, there we go. We want to seam, we want to find the horizontal seam. You can see autocomplete is really helping with this exercise. Um, we want to, let's use our new function to paint the seam red. Um, and so what was the function that we made before? It was called render horizontal seam. So we're going to render the horizontal seam onto the image. Uh, and we're going to find our picture and our seam. See, it was actually painting a red line. And it's pretty interesting where it decides. Um, and you can imagine if we can let this continue for all 300 iterations, we get to uh, the same outcome that we had before, uh, except this time we can actually visualize what's going on. And as a photographer, I'm looking at this, this makes sense. I don't have any qualms with kind of the pixels that it's taking out. And so I'm pretty happy with the final result.
Um, so as you can see here, we demonstrated a few things that you can do with JetBrains Chat, such as um, rendering, uh, or sorry, generating code to render this image. Uh, it actually looked at and used context within our code base to figure out what it was doing. Um, we generated some doc strings that we could then uh, paste in, and we were just generally conversing and having uh, a sort of assistant there to help us. So we hope that this chat assistant is something that's going to be helpful in your own workflows. Uh, as promised, we're continuing to roll out new features such as the diff view, um, some other IDEs supported for, for chat. Um, so stay tuned, uh, join our Discord. As always, Codium Chat is free for individuals, um, and pretty soon uh, we're going to be rolling out some pretty cool features uh, to you all uh, related to context awareness, understanding your code base, and just generally being a very, very intelligent uh, assistant for you. So I hope you enjoy. Um, let us know if you have any feedback, and enjoy coding. Thank you.